Hello everyone. So tonight I've got a new idea. I'm going to use my split cup and do a ribbon pour on this canvas, but I'm going to turn as I go and I'm going to go in lazy little circles and hopefully get kind of a flower shape. We'll see, uh, but might just end up being chaos, but I, I love the look of ribbon pour. So I think no matter what happens, it might be kind of cool. Uh, so I'll go through my colors here. This is a custom uh, blue violet that I've made up. I will um, put the colors that went into it in the description box. This is Decorwort uh, 24 karat gold. This is a mix of Amsterdam sky blue light and TLP um, mermaid, uh, just to give that a little bit of a sparkle to it. And then I have Amsterdam titanium white um, I have to remember not to touch my nose here. <laughs> no matter what I, what the creation looks like, I'm going to call this in blood, sweat, and tears because as I was taking this 18 by 18 inch canvas out of the plastic wrapper, it kind of um, got caught on the corner, and I kind of I tugged really hard to get it to come off, and I smacked myself with the canvas right in the nose, and my nose has been bleeding for the last 20 minutes. I think it might be done, but. I am such a klutz. <laughs> so I'm literally putting my blood, sweat, and tears into this painting. So I hope it turns out. So I will go ahead and layer my cup. So this canvas is 18 by 18. I am going to put a base coat down. Um, and so I only need 12 ounces of paint. Each one of these chambers holds five ounces. So this is a 25 ounce uh, cup or uh, pouring cup. So I'm only going to layer about have um, four colors. I'm going to layer about three ounces of paint. Maybe two and a half. I'll layer it about halfway up. So I'm going to put white on that side. I'm going to put the gold beside it. All of my paints uh, are mixed with mix pour. I'll put the link or the, the e her email address in the description box as well. blue and mermaid here. And then we'll do the blue violet on this side. Let's see how even are we. Ooh, I went a little heavy on the gold. I guess if I have a little extra in the cup it's not gonna hurt anything. We'll get those evened out. Because as I'm going around the canvas here, I'll be going back into the middle a lot. So I'm going to put this down as a little barrier, roughly in the center, spread my base coat down, but I'm going to leave the center blank so that every time I come back to the center, uh, hopefully it'll create something interesting there, but I won't end up with too much paint in the center. I think maybe it's inevitable, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Yeah, so. Let's 
cars, movie stars, party on down the street. We have Mary Jane, good cocaine, plenty it down there to keep. Double down, throw some dice, take off now, don't think twice, but hey, now don't you want to please? flower pour 
I'm really happy with this. I think this has some potential. Uh, I think I'll use, I'm gonna have to dig out, dig through my drawer. I think I have uh, a smaller um, split cup. I don't think it holds much paint, but I would like to see some more negative space on this, I think. But I love how this, how the layers worked in this. Uh, the the central, center of the flower, definitely rose-like, uh, but then these petals coming out um, kind of in a chaotic but structured fashion. I think overall, it kind of reminds me of a a water lily or something. I think I love the, the shape of it and I love the layers of all those lines. The gold is kind of dominant. I forgot how much gold takes over. <laughs> I think next time I'll do it with um, without the gold. But uh, there's a lot of depth because of that really dark blue violet. The white uh, is also very dominant, and I like that because it keeps everything light. Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. I think the uh, the sides look great too. So you may see more of these, I think. <laughs> um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, and stay tuned for the dry results. So here are the dry results of my ribbon flower pour. Super, super excited about this. I can't wait to try this in a bunch of other colors. I love the way these lines spiral out and create depth and motion. It's so great. I love the fact that there's high contrast here uh, between the layers, the really dark and the light blue, and then the gold and the white. I think. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. And I know it kind of looks like the gold took over, but look at that glimmer. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm stoked. This is so cool. I hope you like it as well. Please give me a thumbs up if you do and subscribe if you'd like to see more and come back and see me sometime.